joys and suffering. The hope and disappointments every day. This story affirms that we all have a value and a unique dignity that lifts us up and empowers us to move beyond ourselves and to take the risk of reaching out to others, always trusting that God is present in the simple stuff. Lord, as we celebrate another Christmas, help us to live each moment gracefully. May we have faith and trust in the gift you have given us. May we have the hope that overcomes the dark thoughts that sometimes cloud our vision. May we have the love that makes our world a better place. We make this prayer to Jesus, our brother, born for us again in Bethlehem. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, your good and holy Son, who brings life and beauty to us and to the world. And like in this tree, we hope in his promise. O oh God, by your word and made holy, we ask the Lord to bless this holy eye. And we pray the Lord and all who have been with holy eye, we will receive your healing touch. And we pray the Lord your healing touch will never lose the saint of power. Time and time again, the gospel will see the miracle of healing. And we pray the Lord you will continue to have your life and well, because your Lord is every people fully alive and fully well. May this is the omnipotent, the path of failure, it's the center of the shindles of the wars of the man and the And then at the end of it, the leader of each group, maybe the grandfather or the great grandfather of the group, would say, next year in Jerusalem, we tell the story. In other words, an invitation to come back again and carry on the story and carry it on to the next generation. And that's what happened this evening. We're telling the story of God's covenant with us. New Testament. Of how he sent his son as a child to be our savior. And we, as I said, the best way to tell the story is to have a little pageant like this. Because then these children in 10, 15, 20 years' time will be able to say, Do you remember? the night that we had the pageant in Nopanoo Church and you were Mary and I was Joseph and I was an angel and you were a donkey. They were telling their own understanding of the story. And the story is in this book, the Bible. And the story is God's love for us. So we carry on with the story tonight. Oh, well, the angel did say, was it fair?